Have you ever wondered how to annotate and save an image of a screenshot you've taken on Windows 10 or 11? Well, look no further. Before I continue, please like, subscribe and share. So I've got my screen I want to take a screenshot of here on my, on my device. So what you need to do is um, on your keyboard, um, hold down the Windows key, Shift and S at the same time. The snipping tool will appear and all you simply do is take a snippet of the part of the screen you want to take a screenshot of, which is this part here. Once you do that, on the bottom right hand corner, it will open up a pop-up box saying Snip and Sketch. And we're going to use the Snip and Sketch tool to annotate and save that image so we click uh, the snip is saved to the clipboard click on that and it will open up the snip and sketch um, tool that you can use to annotate this screenshot we've just taken in Windows 10 and 11. So if you look at the top you've got a few options to play around with. On the top left um, you can create a new snip now or snip in three seconds or three uh, snip in ten seconds I suggest you check those options out. Um, next you have the undo and the redo tools so go along and then if you hover over this one this one's touch writing and then here are the three pens the three different colors red black and yellow um, so actually if I click on the red and I can use an annotate tool here to put an arrow there on RA solutions go across I can use my pencil to tool to scribble something on this is um, so effective if you've got a touch screen and then you can write directly onto that screenshot move along you can even annotate here highlight using the yellow highlighter there move along if you've made a mistake click on the eraser tool here or if you just hover over it it will bring bring uh, up what that tool does so uh, let's say I want to delete that um, erase all ink no let's raise that arrow there we go you can see it's getting rid of the bits you don't want there there's a ruler tool there you can use a ruler and then here you can crop this image further click on that and then you can crop it even further let's say we don't want the about bit we can get rid of that as well um, once you're happy click on this um, tick the um, top right hand corner there you can even zoom in here into the image like that zoom in and out and you can view the actual size and this one is um, another one it's, it's the save tool if I click off it click on here you can save this now as different types of images either a PNG here a JPEG or a GIF um, and you can save it in whatever area on your computer you want to let me click on cancel on that go along if you hover over this one you can copy this screenshot um, and here you can share this image if I click on it you can share it to um, different aspects of those Microsoft programs there um, you can get more apps here in the Microsoft Store and then move along click on these three dots here and then you can open the file where that file has been saved um, open that file with a different program you can print it directly onto, um, onto the printer um, you can send feedback to Microsoft settings click on settings it will go directly to the settings page for that image um, well, or for that software even click back on the three dots again and then you can learn different tips and tricks there so let's say if you want to find where this file is saved go to open file here and then it will open up the file folder where that file is saved but you need to save it first so click on the save icon um, save it here click on save then when you go to the three dots and open file you will find that file has been saved there that's the file on the 19th of um, September I hope this video has helped you I uh, hope you've learned how to use a snip and sketch tool um, and take use a snipping tool to take a screenshot uh, please like subscribe and share